So my name is Brian Langell and I'm here today to admit that I have a little bit of a problem. Uh, I've been trying to avoid this for a while. I didn't really want to come out and talk to you guys about it because, you know, I'm supposed to be that, you know, cooler than cool internet guy. And, you know, didn't really want to admit that I have a problem and, well, well, I guess you can only outrun it for so long. So I'm here to tell you that my name is Brian and I'm an addict. And... You may be wondering, Jesus, Brian, you never gave any clues to that. You never gave any hint to that. And well, you know, sometimes you mask it better than, than, than you think. But I can't run from it anymore, so I'm here to talk about it. I have an addiction to video games. Not so much playing them, just buying them, apparently. I only seem to buy the games that are deemed the game of the year. So, uh, so far this year, I bought four games of the year, which really blows my mind because you kind of figure, you know, the game of the year would be one, but apparently, you know, that's not the case. It's weird because it gets even weirder than that because I only seem to buy sequels. Grand Theft Auto 4, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, and my latest edition, which I picked up this morning, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. And not only do I seem to buy the big ticket games, I seem to buy the, uh, the game of the year that has to be sequels. And the funny thing is, if you ask me how many of those games have I finished so far, well obviously not Metal Gear because I just picked it up, but how many of those games have I finished? None. You know, I, I have no idea why. It's, it's weird, like I play them, so don't get me wrong. But I seem to, you know, the day they come out, I have to go pick them up. Like, I picked up Gran Turismo the day it came out. I picked up Vegas. Well, it wasn't the day. It was within a couple weeks of when it came out. Uh, you all remember my story of Grand Theft Auto standing out in the cold for, you know, an hour with Crocs on just to find out they didn't have it in stock. So, yeah, like, I, I, I do this. And then today I went out and picked up Metal Gear Solid 4, which came to just under $100 after tax. My parents are probably shitting themselves right now. You, you spent how much on a video game? But, you know, it's cool because they're about six weeks behind, so they won't know about this till the end of July. So, uh, I'll probably have it at least started by then. But yeah, so that's my problem. I seem to buy a lot of video games, and then, you know, I, I play them and things are good until hockey comes out, which is this September, and then all games go aside and all I play is hockey. So it's a weird thing. I, I, I don't get it. If someone could diagnose this or explain this to me, this would be awesome because I seem to be spending an awful lot of money on games that I don't even know why I'm, I'm buying them. So any help would be appreciated. And speaking of money, um, this one happened this morning. It's a little bit weird. I went through a local establishment drive through and, you know, I'm going to protect the innocent here, so I'm not going to say where it is. Uh, and I'm not going to say who it was, but their, their franchise is named after a famous hockey player rhymed with Bim Snortens. So I pull up and I place my order and the woman in the little drive through box thing says that it'll be $3.40. So I'm like, great, no problem. I pull up to the first window and give them my debit card, which should give it away as to where I was. They hand it back, hand the little thing back to me, the key pay it back to me, and it says $5.60. And I was like, uh, no, uh, they said my order was 340 She goes, oh, I'm sorry, we just had a lightning strike a couple minutes ago, and those things are messed up. Here, I'll re-enter it. And I'm thinking, what? <laughs> she hands me back the keypad, and I look at it, and it says, you know, 540 or whatever it was. It was the $5 thing again. And I said, no, something's wrong here, because my order is $3.40, and you're billing me 5 something She goes, Oh, that lightning strike. I don't know why this keeps happening. Just, just hold on. I'll fix that. Okay. So I hand her the keypad back. She hands it back to me again. And it, for the third time, it says five something. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, no, it's the wrong price. It's supposed to be $3.40. She goes, I don't know anything that's going on with these computers. It's so weird since that lightning strike. Here, I'll fix it. So I hand it to her a fourth time. She hands it in, she goes, five, four, six. 
here you go. And I'm like, oh my God. So I, I admit it, I just paid it. I was like, I'm late for work, I have to go. I'm not getting shit on by my boss for the case of $2. I'm just gonna go, but you know, if you don't know how to run a debit machine and you don't know how to understand what $3.40 means, maybe working the drive through in the early morning rush hour is not for you. I mean, and blaming it on a lightning strike for you typing 546 instead of, you know, 340. That was my trip this morning, so my advice to you guys is, is one, watch out for those lightning strikes. They can really screw up your computers. And two, don't go there in the first place. I'm going to wrap this one up because we're down to half an hour lunch breaks now and I'm almost done. So this has been episode number 30 of The Lanzo Show. My name is Brian Lanzo. You can check it out at langeletter.com, facebook.com, and youtube.com. You can check out the Lange Letter at langeletter.com and facebook.com. For those of you who saw episode 29, for the most part it appears to be in widescreen. I refreshed the screen a couple times this morning just to test it, and it did go full screen with the 4x3 ratios, which really screws things up. So I have no idea what's going on with YouTube, but I assure you that it's not happening on this side. This side here is glorious 16 by 9 and everything is awesome. So I'm going to wrap it up. Take care of yourself. Be good and I'll see you this weekend. Take care.